Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you that technology is that spirit of slumber that uh, the Bible says will be cast into the whole world in the last days. Have you understood that people wake up in the morning and uh, you cannot really tell how your day has ended. You woke up, started scrolling your phone, scrolling on Facebook, scrolling on TikTok, scrolling online and just uh, just checking uh, what are people saying on on Twitter, on uh, WhatsApp and all that. And uh, just checking. But you come and ask yourself, what have I done the whole day? I've literally done nothing. Because in one hour, in 30 minutes, you scroll back and you check. And there's a message which pops up. And it's not necessarily something so important that you're checking. You just imagine that somebody is speaking to me. Maybe somebody sent me a message on WhatsApp. Maybe somebody commented on something on Facebook. Maybe somebody said something. And uh, what I like to tell you, my friends, is that we have to be careful with this spirit of slumber, which has been sent in the last days, to make sure that people will do nothing and they'll be found doing nothing and they'll never understood anything until the Son of Man comes. My friends, this spirit of slumber has been cast out into the whole world. And that's why you see people wake up, they purely do not understand themselves until the whole day ends. This, this will be my challenge to you. If you can, I know we are all on social media. And it is a good platform to be able to share your thoughts, to be able to preach the gospel and also hear the gospel. Most of us heard the gospel from platforms in online, like myself. The first time I ever heard the gospel was somewhere, someone preaching on YouTube. There's a time that I heard the gospel. Remember, we are also to cast our nets wide and far through the internet and through many other places. Remember, God created all things, even the wicked for the day of trouble. And remember, God uses all things for his own glory. So even as we use these platforms, be mindful the channels that you follow because channels are supposed to channel something, either a Holy Spirit or an evil spirit. The channels that you follow, the different programs that you're watching. Remember, the programs are meant to program you, okay? So whatever you're programming yourself with, it should be something holy. It should be something which is right. Do not program yourself. Do not go into channels which you do not understand or where people are just dancing uh, naked and doing all those sorts of things because whatever gets into your self, it will for sure come out. Remember, David said, I made a covenant with my own eyes that I'll not let anything vile come upon my eyes. And... Uh, if you really want to know the truth, the truth is out there. You can research. But are you really researching the truth according to God's word? Or is it the truth according to television? Is it the truth according to television? Remember, it's called tell a vision because it's just telling visions, lies. You have to be very keen. Even as I check, do you, can you discern between a fact and a lie? And the only way you can know this is true or false is aligning it with God's word to be able to understand what does God say about this thing that I'm watching? What does God say about this thing that I'm hearing? And when you do that, my friends, your mind will be opened up to the truth. You'll be able to see. And don't spend all your time online. Spend time reading the word of God. Spend time communicating with other people, enjoying different discussions. That's where wisdom is. Wisdom is within other human beings because they are created in the image of God. But technology is not created in the image of God. Remember, these machines are channels where demons can be able to channel all things. Right now, I've seen videos on TikTok speaking about how there's just some weird addiction which is out there in TikTok. And it seems like people are dying. And uh, it's not that they are dying because of TikTok, but there's just something weird about even the money that people are being given right now. Have you, have you noticed that? Like somebody just wakes up and gives some, uh, they're calling them gifts, different gifts. You hear somebody has sent another on one million on TikTok, 500,000 on TikTok, this and this and this and this. But <laughs> it's so funny 
they are only sending those monies to people who are really wicked and people who are sending wicked messages. But go to a platform where somebody is out there preaching or reaching others the gospel, you'll never hear things like that. You will never hear things like that. I'm not saying that you wake up and go and flash money to pastors. No. But the thing is this. There's something being pushed. If the more wicked you are, the more you're going to, to, to gain from the things of the world. So even as you get into TikTok and you want to uh, maybe reach people with the gospel, your, 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 your desire should not be the monies or the things which are being sent left, right, and center. You never know where they're coming from. What if it's some demon sending all these monies? Well, I know all things belong to God, but at the end of the day, one thing that you need to understand is that the love of money, the love, the love, not the money itself, the love of money is the root of all evil. And that is the beginning of everything. You'll find most of the pastors have fallen. I mean, they have made their, their ministries are, have gone haywire because of what? The love of the money, the love. You started well, you started preaching well, people were hearing what you're saying, they were getting blessed. But all of a sudden, some people started gifting you some good offerings and some good this and that. And then you swaved out from the real message of the truth and you got into fables because people want to hear fables, they want to hear stories. So let's be keen about this and know that it's the last days.